precautions and symptoms. I have a friend uh, who is a medical doctor here with me in the studio. He will be enlightening us on these topics. Welcome, Dr. Mustafa. Um, thank you very much. Um, so, um, to begin with, uh, let us talk about um, acute diseases in Meduguri. Uh, what is your experience here and uh, what precautions should we take as a people? Okay. Um, thank you very much. Um, um, it's a privilege to be here and also um, to at least share my own um, experiences I've witnessed so far my stay for six months here in accident and emergency at um, Umarushewu Otramodel uh, Hospital here in um, Meduguri. The acute diseases I've seen so far, um, most especially in um, in in this current um, um, weather of ours, mm. um, that is, um, we are in rainy rain season, season. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then um, a lot of flooding um, around and different uh, areas of um, Meduguri. And the top on the list um, is cholera. Many people have been brought to hospital with um, symptoms in keeping with cholera. Mm. We've, I think if I could remember, we even lost a patient. We lost a patient to cholera. To cholera. And it's quite um, painful mm. because the disease is actually uh, a preventable disease. It's all about um, personal hygiene. Mm. Keeping with, if you, if you can keep personal hygiene and uh, um, try to um, avoid uh, um, um, waters that are contaminated, contaminated uh, water. water bodies, and to some extent, you won't um, be caught up with the disease. Mm. Um, going by the symptoms, usually the disease presents with um, vomiting and diarrhea. Mm. Diarrhea, what they call it, um, rice water stool. Once you start seeing your stool is watery and is in form of um, parboiled rice, the water of a parboiled rice. rice. That is, you see it like having milkish, foam. you having foam and then it's watery, it's um, whitish mm. in color. Wow. So, likely. <laughs> no, if anybody it's, sees that, he knows that there's a problem. There's a and problem. And the same person should go to a to, hospital. To, exactly. Mm. The person should find his or her way mm. to hospital. No need to cut corners, to go and see any patent medical store mm. for anything. Just rush down to hospital. Because at the end of the day, what usually kills them first is dehydration. Mm. Dehydration in the sense that you are losing and you are not via the anything. anus, and then you are losing Again. via the mouth. Mm. So you are losing in two directions, via the mouth and via the anus. Mm. Then it's, 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 uh, it's as if you are losing ev every fluid of your body. Mm. And that's what keeps you going. The fluid of your body keeps you going, keeps you moving and then what have you so um usually what kills them like i mentioned earlier is dehydration, dehydration. and then you go to um, a patent medical store you are vomiting he will just give you um a medication anti-emetic to, to mm, stop the vomiting. vomiting and then you are still purging mm. at the end of the day someone who died of uh, dehydration from dehydration acidosis and many other complications mm. will set in at the end the patient will die immediately and then that uh, cholera is very very deadly and highly infectious mm. very very deadly within a short period of time the whole family will be wiped out oh. with if if paraventually the uh, the family took a contaminated um, um, drink, um, like water, fluid or water mm. or anything, food. All of them will come down with the disease, mm. and then at the end of the day, they will all be wiped um, wiped up. And you just come and meet dead bodies. So now, is, very, um, very... is there any precautions? You yeah, suggest? um, like um, we all know, um, cholera is um as a result of um contaminated water bodies. 
and contaminated food. Mm. Um, a lot of precautions, such as um, trying to maintain personal hygiene, since it is a fecal-oral mm. mode of transmission. Like what I mean by fecal oral. Uh, uh, what I mean by fecal oral is uh, fecal. When I mean fecal, that is from feces. Mm. Your that is feces, mm. feces. I know. Feces. Yes. Uh -huh. the, yes. <laughs> Physics and then um, oral. You are taking it to the mouth. Mm -hmm. Simple. That is fecal oral from the physics from feces to the mouth because um, you see a lot of people uh, really? doing open dumping mm. system defecation. like defecation their mode of defecation is uh, open dumping they will just go along the water bodies and then start pulling mm. along the uh, water I, bodies I think, uh, also parents who are having small child are, are fond of uh, openly disposing the pampas thank you very much mm. thank you very much exactly yeah yeah that is it mm. um that's what they do and is is common all over the country. That is not even here. Mm. But um, one thing about here is and the population mm. and the um, poor health seeking behavior mm. of our people and then lack of um, personal uh, hygiene. hygiene. Okay, you can see you see a small child pooing along water bodies, even adult the same thing urinating inside the uh, uh, border, border bodies. bodies, which is very 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 bad. That's how someone contact. Uh, 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 so if, uh, for example, cholera, uh, can it be transmitted through air? For example, there's an open defecation somewhere and maybe air uh, mistakenly or uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, transfer the feces into yeah. someone else's food while cooking. Uh, can a person get the disease? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Until you swallow that particular uh, contaminated uh, uh, food. food or drink mm. the contaminated uh, water. So from what water. I can hear, uh, can picture now is if I would be having a house and I would be building my toilet here, and I, there, sh there, is, uh, there should be some meters away uh, from the kitchen. Exactly, mm. exactly. And also yeah. the store. The store. The toilet should be situated far away from any water, uh, a source of water, uh, mm. source of drinking water, mm. or um, Maybe kitchen. Mm. You know, I like. I saw there is one um, particular clip mm. that was video, yeah, yes, video yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was inside. rampant recently. Yeah, yeah. The toilet was, was inside the inside kitchen. The kitchen. Mm. I was shocked and when I saw that. It was beautiful. And then <laughs> the lady commented in the video and said, "Ah, mashallah." Yeah, <laughs> she's she's so mashallah <laughs> in another in another <laughs> yes, mashallah. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, this is very very bad. Is. This is a source of cholera. Mm. Because from there, someone will, be, will end up transmitting and and the disease to either this uh, the food or the source of uh, drinking water. So source of drinking water is once the source of drinking water is contaminated, then the whole uh, area will mm. go in for it. Mm. They'll start manifesting with the disease. Then um, eating contaminated food, mm. most especially all these um, roadside vendors. Mm. Some of them are not highly skilled. They don't wash their hand. No personal hygiene. To be honest, just... I, I I eat street food, but <laughs> nothing like Danwaki. I really really, but I don't eat Danwaki on the streets. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, I, I select it. Yeah. But uh, I think a lot of people here in Nigeria and other places in the world love street food. Yes, but the case is, uh, if you see, uh, if I may say, if you see a place unhygienic, having a lot of flies, then I think it is a place to run off. From. Exactly, mm. and and also, um, uh, before I forget, even flies, mm. even flies can uh, is, yeah, is vectors. one, yeah, vectors of um cholera, mm. pesh they will pesh on uh, the poo mm. of either a child or an, um, adult. an adult that has the pathogen mm. in the stool. And after patching in it, they now patch on the food mm. or on the source of drinking water. So it serves as a vector for transmission of that uh, this disease. Thing, this particular topic we are discussing on, if people in Nigeria really value their education, I think it is in our basic science. I think all these things, I, I can remember clearly when we were talking about these uh, flies. I can, I can see the pictures of where I was reading in my textbook when I was in either it is junior classes or primary school. Okay. That thing is definitely 
inside out has been yeah, so exactly a properly educated uh, person should be properly hygienic yeah and yeah. you should you should know and understand that yes food is something you consume and exactly. it is a, and exactly. it is something exposed to a lot of disease if care is not taken yes yes sir yes sir yes, so sir. is uh, apart from uh, this uh, particular symptom that we've mentioned uh, mm. the hydration uh, food, uh, excessive there vomiting basically and is ex- vomiting and then mm. diarrhea no the, no fever and some some might present with fever mm. some might not present with fever what about stomach ache and some might present with it some might not present with it mm-hmm. but basically is water water is just coming out if from water the two just opening just yes run run the hospital exactly okay. and like the way i describe it mm. is what uh, like a parboiled rice rice Thank the you. watery form of the parboiled rice mm. the watery aspect once you start seeing that then it should send a signal that this is likely cholera. Well, I've Russian seen a report uh, recently about eight states which are really con- uh, are having about eighty percent or seventy percent of the in- the cholera, the cholera, uh, the entire cholera cases in Nigeria, which Borno is part of. Yeah. So it means that the people of Borno are really suffering from cholera unknowingly or unknowingly. Knowing exactly, so, mm. exactly. So now, exactly. apart from uh, cholera, what else do you see? Yeah, um, another thing again, um, recently, like um, two weeks ago, um, was cases of, um, suspected case of uh, yellow fever. Um, so far, I think I've attended to, um, I, I should say, seven to ten patients. Um, I've referred them to appropriate um, uh, hospital, mm. uh, University of Medical Education Hospital, and also to our state specialist uh, Hospital, hospital mm-hmm. for for the uh, mani- uh, for further management treatment of the patient. So yellow fever, the yellow fever is not the new disease. I think uh, yeah. on, this, <laughs> on this platform, I think we've discussed about yellow fever, but uh, that is to limited to only our view as journalists. Okay. So uh, we do not even know the symptoms of yellow fever. We do not even know um uh, the let's say symptoms, let's say precautionary measures, okay. let's say, okay. and things like yeah. that. So. Tell us about some symptoms. Yeah. Okay, um, usually the yellow fever um, presents with um, fever, mm. fever, headache, generalized body pain, pain. Um, and in severe form, they start bleeding. Oh. Bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the eye, bleeding from the fever, <laughs> from the mouth, yeah. from the ear. Uh, it's, it's part of the viral hemorrhagic fevers. Okay, that is why it is yeah. it is uh, it is in the blood, right? Yes, right, hemorrhagic. Blood. Yes, 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 yes. That's really, really bad. Exactly. So um, I think uh, from what you've said, I can only differentiate it from malaria when you talked about uh, this ability because I, I know that malaria yeah. malaria yeah isn't yes and another thing again you see them with severe jaundice what we call yellowish discoloration of the eye mm-hmm. um, severely deeply jaundice deeply jaundice so should a person who is having yellow fever just go to a traditional medicine and <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no 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 they shouldn't go I, and that is the problem we are even having you see someone with that and they will tell you it's shower Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, that's what you say. Yeah, I had a shower. Yeah. Yes, and then at the end of the day, they will end up consuming a lot of um, uh, herbal medication, mm. damaging their kidney, damaging their liver, and at the end of the day, patient will die. And I think uh, some people, uh, some patient medicine stores, you see, is it patent medicine store? Yes, they, they yeah, patent they medicine usually, store. Um, say it is malaria and typhoid yes because malaria and typhoid i don't know why it's malaria and typhoid related or anything. i don't almost but, every time if you yes, go, go to, to the hospital places, they will tell you it is malaria, malaria and, and typhoid. typhoid i don't have i think i've never heard of uh, malaria alone they must tell you that mm. it's associated with typhoid. Is it, is it is, that it is associated with... It's not associated. Mm, okay, there are two different yeah, things. There are two different things. Malaria is that of parasite. Mm. Why um, typhoid. typhoid is a bacteria. Okay. Yes, Salmonella typhi is yeah. a bacteria. That one is for you. <laughs> <laughs> you <just> salmonella typhi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that is, that is it. Is mm. bacter- that one is bacteria. Mm. Ta- uh, salmonella, um, typhoid fever is and bacteria mm. why uh, malaria is parasite oh. is i don't know every time you go to hospital they will tell you is malaria and par- and malaria and type of mal- even patients that have yellow fever mm. I, if you dig the history very well they will tell you that uh, they went to a patent medical store mm. where they were given injections um such as uh, ibita like anti-malaria injection 
and then the symptoms still persist mm. at the end of the day they will present to hospital after squandering their money uh, uh, at the patent med medicine, medicine store. store coming to our own hospital <laughs> they don't have funds mm. they will be lingering here and there yeah, here yeah, and there yeah, here yeah, and there mm, to okay. do the appropriate uh, the so but uh, one thing we've not uh, mentioned is um, how is this yellow fever transmitted how will one i will not say myself one <laughs> okay okay um uh, usually is transmitted by a mosquito oh. and there is um a type of mosquito i think i can't recall the name now mm. um there's a type of mosquito once and i identified to kill it before <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just to take um the necessary um, precautions. Um, precautions, um such as um you should sli um, be sleeping inside an in insecticide and net. treated um mosquito net, net. Mm. and then um well. flea um fumigations mm. um avoid stagnant um, water. water make sure you drain um stagnant water. So this is 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 also coming back to this personal hygiene exactly because uh, this stagnant water for example i i have seen a lot of situation where uh, people having drainages at the front of their houses and letting the drainage to be stagnant and they are helping in even making it to be stagnant some people are even connecting their toilets to it to the, exactly to the, uh, distance yes so i think uh, that is also some form of personal hygiene yes because, but i i i really hate mosquito nets <laughs> What is the alternative <laughs> to mosquito net? Oh, the, the alternative to mosquito net is um, just try to avoid stagnant water. Mm. Avoid stagnant water. And then if you even have stagnant water, there is what we call, um, um, there is this method of um, trying to prevent um, breeding of mosquito mosquitoes by spreading oil. Okay. Uh, I've seen a lot of oil. I, well, I have experience of seeing oil in in water but i've never asked probably i might think that maybe this uh, it is close to somewhere where oil is being used and the oil spills uh, no 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 Some, sometimes it's 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 it prevents deliberate, yes deliberately uh, mm. there's people spread it you understand to actually um stop prevent the, the uh, prevent the breathing of a mosquito along that area because once there's oil the um um the life cycle of um uh, a mosquito cannot be reached once there's no oxygen mm -hmm. you understand for okay, them and there's no oil there uh, once no there's oxygen, oil yeah it, it, it deprives the the, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah the particular life cycle of oxygen mm. and then the life cycle will not be complete and then but, uh, the, I, the, 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 the layman uh, myself and a lot of people out there think that mosquito only live for three days <laughs> and uh, that might uh, maybe if they have just fixed their nets there yes you will never take it off <laughs> just come in and go out. go out any mosquito mistakenly enters it will die in three days time that is their turn uh, what turn. is the life cycle of uh, mosquito can st i don't i can't yeah, actually can say recall, um, yeah i can't recall i okay. can't recall but a uh, mosquito can stay more than three days, days of course well uh, thank you very much mm -hmm. then uh, we've talked about uh, cholera we've talked about uh, um, malaria, malaria uh, yes yellow fever then yes yes and um, yeah. i'm sorry let me just um quickly um 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 make a summary mm. of um this the IQ diseases the precaut and the precautions and the precautionary measures um what is there is from the uh, cholera mm. please people should avoid um open dumping mm. people should avoid try op avoid open dumping the government should set policy mm. you understand for um maybe in a particular area people that overlook all those things people should avoid that mm. and then also connecting your toilet mm. to uh, to water to waterways or waters, waters is, is please people should avoid that mm. and also source source of your drinking water should be away far away i think usually they say it's 100 meter but i can mm -hmm. still remember my public health uh, <laughs> my community medicine uh, it should be 100 meter far away from your source of water should be 400 meter far away from your toilet okay. you and also your kitchen well, it should also be that, away wow. the person needs to have a big house exactly <laughs> <laughs> 100 meters is, 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 a bit, is uh, yeah budget, yeah know? yeah yeah mm -hmm. and also personal hygiene like hand washing mm -hmm. once you um, once you um you use the toilet wash your hand with soap, with soap and, and water. water simple 
remember an NTA show what's your hand with soap and water or ash or ash ash and water. i think it was during ebola time okay or oh, ash and water, water. yes 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 to <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 to prevent the transmission yes. so as simple as washing your hand with soap and water mm. that's all regardless of the soap just wash your hand with soap and water they didn't say you should go and buy medicated soap no just soap just try and just wash your hand with soap and water then um for 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 um okay. source of drinking water um if people cannot get a clean water you can make a clean water yourself um how you boil the water before you drink it to some extent you've wakened or you've killed the 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 organism mm. if you subject the organism to high temperature mm. the organism will die and then you take your water i think like, not only organism even human <laughs> will die. Will die exactly exactly so they will die exactly and, uh, sir <laughs> and they will die with their disease <laughs> so um, by and large mm. these are the things and once you start um presenting with those symptoms please rush down to hospital mm. don't go to any patent medical store you understand just rush them to hospital and thank god um there are some ngos here that also helps mm. and also the state government is trying i think um there is this is it runzapi they call it mm. one camp for isolation yeah, i yeah. think it's in, either in maria abacha or mm. something like that children um and women and children clinic or something like that. um you go uh, you go there they'll isolate you they'll even treat you for free i think the, yeah, the so government is cholera. We got to cholera. So what about mm. the yellow fever? A yellow fever too. Yeah, the same thing. Mm. Uh, like the way we discussed earlier, um, insect, use insecticide treated mos- mosquito net, right. um, and also fumigate your areas. Uh, avoid um bushes around your area. Cut the grasses. Stagnant water. stagnant water. Make sure you drain stagnant water. If you can just use oil, spread oil along the stagnant water along the quarters, mm. and then uh, it would prevent and to some extent the breeding sites for the mosquitoes and then the transmission will be so if not, very very if you've not come across a monkeypox hey, i've come out uh, no, 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 i've not come across monkeypox in my degree i've not seen any case okay so, i haven't seen any case uh, yeah, even the nigerian center for disease control hasn't uh, published any news about monkeypox monkey okay okay well okay. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, what about other diseases what do you think of other that, that was divert from acute this oh yeah so, uh, some chronic diseases i've seen so scary mm. <laughs> i would say it's very very scary i have to check my renal function because of that it's and renal, the top on the list renal function. Uh, renal function that is my kidney function literally uh, uh, i think i'll I follow did. you today to go and check my uh, you have to do that you have to do that because when i came here mm. my first um 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 my first day at work i saw two to three patients with kidney chronic kidney disease end stage end stage renal disease very sad mm. very very sad and every of my of my shift mm. And every other doctor's shift in Umarushe, you must see a, chroni- a patient with chronic kidney disease. Well, so like, sad. So it means so a sad. lot of people. A lot of people, from, exactly. A lot of people. Are, only those who have reached a chronic stage might have been presented to exactly, the Exactly, exactly. So does it have any sim- symptoms? Yeah, yeah. Not symptoms. the chronic, before it becomes chronic. Uh, before it Early uh, warnings. Uh, usually, um, what happens is um, the causes. The causes of the, um, the yeah, the causes of the um, chronic kidney disease that uh, at the end of the day leads to the end stage. Um, hypertension, hypertension. People are living with hypertension in this environment. Hypertension here is something else. People are living, and that's what that's another cause of um, chronic kidney disease in our environment. People are found of. Um, um, having um, poor lifestyle, um, health, their health seeking behavior is very, very poor. You can see someone um, having, maybe having headache, he will go to um, all these, their traditional uh, uh, medication and guys. Him, and basir, then, uh, it is Basir. <laughs> she wants any, it is Basir. Mm. And then they will go and be consuming those herbal medication. One, they have hypertension. Two, they are taking herbal medication for oh, which really? normally if you don't even have hypertension you are even taking those herbal medication they will destroy your kidney and then you are having hypertension which causes chronic kidney disease mm. which 
may lead to your um your your, to your person's to your person's end stage renal disease mm. and death, and then you are taking herbal medication. So I thought I thought it's, herbal it's, medication. It's a suicide mission. I thought herbal medication used to work. I know herbal medication is very dangerous. Why? It's very yeah because one is um the concentration. Mm. You act even those ones selling they don't even know the concentration. They don't know the concentration. And then the ingredients, the components, what and what was brought together to make that particular medication. Some are positive, while some are negative. negative. Exactly. And then the the dosage. Mm, yeah. The dosage. Kasha de sabi, kasha de, 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 all those things, all those things cause a lot of problem. Mm. So hypertension, then so followed by this so herbal medication. Check their, their blood hyper- pressure. Okay. People should check their blood pressure regularly. Mm. And then another thing that contributes to this blood pressure, most of them having this blood pressure, I notice here that people consume a lot of salt. I do I do patronize um, all these food vendors, so I'm sorry to say so. But there are some people, if you taste their food, it is just it's salt. salty. And maggi. And maggi. And then I'll be surprised. Someone will be licking the soup and then... <laughs> Ah, it's so sad. And then buying maybe meat, all these are uh, suya. Don't touch they, me. That is my idea. <laughs> and then um, they'll spread this, they are uh, yaji. They are yaji. Mm, and, yes, and this, they are yaji or pepe, has salt and then together with mangi excess. I, I think uh, if, uh, if once, once uh, there was a time, I think, probably in our biology classes in secondary school that... Uh, I think our biology teacher told us not to consume raw salt. Yes. To consume salt, you one have to at least cook. Yes. Something. Yes. So that uh, yaji uh, is pure. It's, it's pure raw salt. salt. It's raw salt. Mm, so and yaji. high salt diet, mm. diet that contains high amount of salt, causes hypertension. Mm-hmm. So yes, hypertension to cause hypertension. Yes, hypertension may lead to uh, chronic kidney, kidney disease. disease. Yes. That's dangerous. That is very dangerous. So we should reduce the high salt intake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Should be salt intake should be very very should be reduced. Mm. If possibly stop, just use three to four maggi. So I should okay. sp- <laughs> myself. Let me tell you one thing. I I have like spent about five years now. I I do not consume. I do not like the attitude of consuming sugar. If I would take my tea, it is only milk and probably milo. Okay. I would I would uh, sugar sugar. sugar. And also, likewise, if I'm taking pap, I do not, not add, um, yes, it is only uh, the pap, I will take it raw like this. Sometimes, well, the only times I come in contact with sugar, if I buy biscuits or any other thing that might have sugar in it, but I do not add raw sugar. So, I am thinking, oh, should I divert, should I start taking sugar, or stop taking salt? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I think, by and large, your lifestyle is okay. Um, What you have to reduce is just... Um, reduce taking the uh, salt. Mm. I said you are good to go. Mm. If you can take something without sugar, mm. you are trying. <laughs> <laughs> you are trying. You are trying. A lot of people say yes. that uh, even in uh, my family, nobody if they will, uh, uh, maybe prepare my own tea or anything, they want. They are not putting sugar. Putting sugar. Yeah, okay. they do not. They know that I. Uh, you I don't like, like sugar. That is, that is good for you. That is that is good. Though it's not even um, sugar. The sugar that even is primarily because diabetes. Yeah, I know, but yeah, yeah. it's just that I I found my grandfather not taking it, and yeah, maybe okay. I took it. Uh, yeah, from him. Yeah, uh, he yeah. He usually I mean, take uh, dates. That drinking, is very good. If he's drinking pop, pop, pop he will use dates. That is good. So that is why I made good. myself. Uh, medically, even that is good. Mm. Medically, that is good. It's very very good. Like me, my lifestyle now that I'm so 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 happy about is I don't eat in the evening. I don't eat dinner. I just take that. I you, know, you I will remove my cup. <laughs> Why? I eat at least four times a day. Uh, yeah, I eat food. Like mm-hmm. okay, in the morning mm-hmm. I'll eat food. Mm-hmm. Um, in the afternoon mm-hmm. I'll eat food. Mm-hmm. But in the evening, dinner I don't eat food. So I just eat, eat diet. Okay, the diet. Bino, that's all. Uh, okay, maybe uh, that's the bino, uh, Eat the bino, drink water. That's all. I drink all. Uh, eat that and then I love food. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, yeah. now uh, these two are um, some some of the major causes. Yes, of, uh, yes, exactly. And then issue but, of stone, mm. stone, renal stone. What we call urolithiasis. Mm. 
people are having stone. kidney stones. That's, that's yes, people are, our yeah. people are familiar with. Yes, kidney stone. Mm. People have uh, people here. I've met a lot of people with kidney stone. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you even see um, a child coming with the stone mm. at the opening of his penis. Whoa! Well, I, so it, I the patient will now present with yeah. acute urinary retention. I think that is because I don't like this type of things. That is why I do not go want to medical, medical So we have to use hand to manipulate it and then the thing will come out. Then the patient will start yeah. peeing. My legs we'll, are shaking. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sir. <laughs> then a lot, um, what I do encourage them is, you know, there are many factors to that um, chronic, um, to that uh, kidney, kidney stone, stone. that is actu- people are actually suffering from. Um, the factor here is the weather. Mm. The weather here is arch. Mm. The degree is, is extreme, mm. <laughs> it's high. The temperature is high, and then people don't take a lot of water. I'm thirsty now. <laughs> so people don't take a lot of people water. Don't take water. Mm. People don't take water, which is very, very bad. They are, they are overworking the kidney. The kidney is overworking itself, mm. and then they are not helping the kidney so by water, not taking water. Water to this kidney is like lubricant to a machine. Water to the kidney is life. Okay, it's life. It's so even it's life. Even Not the, it's life. It's more than lubricant. Once you are giving the kidney water, mm. you are making him lively. Drink a lot of water. I do tell them, drink a lot of water. Mm. Drink, I uh, no in, in in our hospital here, uh, those nurses sometimes they used to, say, they used to call me advoc- a doctor that is advocate of uh, oh, drink oh, uh, water. drinking water. <laughs> oh, that is it. It's because it's, it's pre- uh, 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 you are trying to prevent that particular uh, condition. At the end of the day, they might come back with k- kidney disease. You have not helped them. So what about uh, meat? The people of this town uh, consume a lot of meat. Mm. Uh, consume a and lot I of meat. And I've heard a lot of uh, people outside I haven't saying that, yes, meat is one of the contributors. Mm, yeah, protein, high proteinous diet, mm. uric acid, all those things. Understand? Contribute a lot. It's not, it's not an enjoyment. Mm. See people consuming meat, 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 well, meat. Well, meat, I meat. take it as enjoyment because <laughs> I've never got, gotten myself tired yeah. of it. I, I, did, and, I think uh, before you came here, I yeah. ate meat. Wow! And I did it yesterday night. I, okay, and it almost every time if I have small change in my pocket and I see the suya spot, mm. like, you must go there. There is a magnet. Call you me. must go there. Come on. You must go there. Mm, so ah. That is that is one. Uh, yes. Uh, what I will encourage them is water is very cheap. They should drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> before uh, before talk, people will start calling me doctor. Drink water. I know doctor water. That that will have happened. That yeah. will have happened if you were uh, born uh, during the slave trade. Because I think a lot of these people outside uh, Nigeria are having their name like from uh, their colonial masters, they are being called with some attribute. Wow. Like for example, you will see a person called Hilltop. So it, they are attributing him to the Hilltop, oh. where he is. Uh, there is a footballer named Drinkwater. Oh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a yes. lot of names like yes, this. Yes, Drinkwater, Rice. Uh, so if to uh, say you had Cook, <laughs> I was, they would tell me, yes, they, 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 would they call me <laughs> drink, uh, water. drink water. Well, seriously, people, that is one of the preventive methods. Drink a lot of water. Don't stress your kidney. Mm. Then avoid um, um, high salt diet. Mm. High salt diet is not encouraging. After cooking, you now say, Babu, and no, you abandon Gishiri. You just drink Gishiri. It's very bad. It's like you are watching a lot of advert. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so aside from uh, this water, uh, lack of uh, uh, excessive, uh, enough water in the mm. body, and um, those that you've mentioned, is there any other... Uh, thing we should be concerned of. Mm, yeah, another thing again is all these there um aphrodisia, aphrodisia. What I mean by aphrodisia is um all these there herbal medication that okay, are okay. sexual and uh, um s- uh, sex enhancing drug. Okay. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I don't, I don't want to no, don't. mention name hey. of Alangurus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alangurus, they like taking those medications because almost all patients, mm. because I, I, I wanted to, um, um, start thinking of, um, doing a research. Mm. What are the factors that uh, are causing um? chronic kidney disease well, I, I, in this I particular had, environment. I had this similar mindset, like... Uh, and then how... Thought. Yes. 
and then what uh, at the end of the day if we are a if one is able mm. to to find out those factors that are predominant mm. in causing those and uh, and uh, chronic kidney disease leading to end stage renal disease mm. those factors maybe will, there will, there should be a policy mm. we we'll advocate a policy um for the government to arrest to, the yes, to to arrest those factors i understand herbal medication is top on the list and then taking aphrodisia and sex enhancing drug mm. the herbal the the traditional one mm. our people consume it a lot here that's really sad. and you can see the way uh, those there are uh, people carrying mic all mm. around inside car and so kasha kaza exactly exactly so i'm uh, kidding impossible it. ban them because <laughs> no, no, seriously no, no, but sometimes uh, their their medication works sometimes i what i want is that uh, the government or pharmacies or union or so ever should come in and uh, maybe enhance their research oh, yeah. uh, okay. help them do research is the research yeah i involve them, them then involve them, them and then then give them some uh, some advice and, and, and so on and so forth to better uh, their medication, medication talk, because right. uh, this thing uh, you cannot stop our people <laughs> and hey you cannot stop anybody in the world from taking consuming herbs yeah. because herbs is uh, ideally part of the world and yeah, yeah i'm sure even, even the medications we are even getting yeah herbs. the western the, the, the uh, yeah yeah so uh, pharmaceutical it is, drugs it is, yeah, it is yes. just that uh, they it's a refined to research and yes and subjected to refi- uh, yeah, to processes, uh, to chemical processes, processes chemical processes and also um uh, a research mm. then trials yes, clinical trials, trials and what this one they do not have uh, they don't have trials yes. exactly so, so i think uh, that will do um, but uh, so in, apart from this a kidney yes. uh symptoms yeah usually um at what they usually present with is facial puffiness face facial swell or? swelling of the face okay most of them you ask them how does it start i'll tell you you don't have para kumburi fiskana sorry yeah para kumburi from there as the day goes by mm. you wake up in the morning it's early morning facial swelling okay early morning you wake up you see your face swollen uh, eye bachini as time goes on as the day goes by the thing will just you know effect of gravity mm. the thing will, the swelling will, will yes, goes up go down it will go down and then you see it's normal mm. that's how that is what the 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 early symptoms, the early yes, symptoms early yes systems early warning from there from there you start seeing leg swelling mm. leg will start swelling up from there stomach swelling then generalize body swelling about the face the 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 hands the feet everywhere is it curable oh, oh once you are yeah it's yeah. curable it's curable yeah it's curable once they can donate kidney no it's kidney transplant wow yeah so that is the cure if it fails if it fails this transplant this transplant once the kidney fails it's transplant hemodialysis for how long will you continue doing hemodialysis and hemodialysis has its own um side side, effect. side effects and also um the affordability mm. you understand it's mm. another um, issue it's costly. it's costly it's expensive you understand people low income um and un- unfortunately enough is the low income people that usually comes down with it because one um they have um 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 poor uh, um health seeking behavior mm. they don't come to hospital and they and they, they, they consume herbal medication and they like tasty food and they, thank you spicy food mm. they, they want spices they don't know they were I understand. salty food and then mm. they like patronizing uh herbal medication yeah, excess yeah. herbal medication senyimara all those things and then uh, another thing again it's is like, aphrodisia mm, yeah yeah aphrodisia so aphrodisia uh, aside from a uh, kidney what else do you have for us really? yes another thing again is um hypocalcemia when i came here when i saw hypo- do hypocalcemia <laughs> yes hypocalcemia um is low level of calcium what here they call a uh, calcium out oh. you eat a calcium ni once you was a patient the, the patient relative will even tell you i calcium, Cal- uh, calcium even, uh, diagnosed before, uh, before they even come that calcium mm. and once you see that sometimes you don't even need to do our medical science mm. we have two medical science that we usually do mm. to detect if patients have um 
calcium. Uh, yeah, hypo calcium. Yeah. No, let me call it calcium. Uh, yes, low level of uh, calcium. Calcium mm. in general here, mm. that's what they call it here. Hypo here, they call it calcium. calcium. Mm. So you even, uh, what we do is, um, we do what we call trozea sign and we do chivostek sign. This trozea sign, I'm sorry, I'm sorry no, to no, use medical. Uh, let me just explain it in layman. What we usually do is, in trozea sign, we 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 use our um blood pressure cuff mm -hmm. spigno manometer you understand mm -hmm. we, we, like we want to measure blood pressure mm -hmm. and then we inflate it um a little bit higher than and uh, maintain it normal. to uh, to to the normal blood pressure systolic blood pressure and then you start seeing their hand what we call carpopedia spasm the hand will just turn mm -hmm. inward like this then it's likely the patient has a hypocalcemia um, then um, sometimes again, once you type here, that's chivalric sign. You tap here, mm -hmm. then you start. Once you tap here, you tap here like this. They will start. They will start having twitching of their okay. facial muscles. It will be twitching. Like last week, I saw a, a, a particular uh, a, 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 an elderly patient. I think she's. I think around 60, 68 year old. Yeah. And when I tap here, she, it was twitching. I said, this is like this is hypocalcemia. Uh, and so um some some of them here don't even come with you don't even need to do that mm. you don't need to do all this sign they'll come looking at you like this yeah, with yeah, it their, they, hands, their hand is already draw in what flex that carpopida spasm has already yes the severe form mm. it's very very severe they they let even the legs too are all draw in what well i just so, uh, and then once is, we, there, is there any causes? Uh, well? Yeah, the, we the, the causes, a lot of causes, a lot of causes, there are a lot of causes. Well, usually, hypocalcemia can result from, um, uh, mm -hmm. that's why I'm thinking people, they should be checking their parathyroid hormone. There's what we call parathyroid hormone. I know thorax. Lo uh, the thorax is here. Okay, okay. Uh, here is thyroid. Okay, okay. Yes, thyroid. there's what they call parathyroid gland. Mm -hmm. So, they helps in the regulation of um, calcium. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, high, uh, low secretion of it also lead, leads to low calcium mm -hmm. in the blood. So, I'm thinking maybe patients are presenting. And then there, there's something said that people don't do. I do request for it. Magnesium. Magnesium. No magnesium too. Low yeah. level of magnesium can present with that. People who are having ulcer, I think they take magnesium. Really. You know, inside that. Uh, uh, magnesium trisilicate, yeah. but and that other one is. It's it, another form of magnesium. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. So this one, there is magnesium also is. So whenever I request for calcium, and I do request for serum, albumin, and then magnesium, they will tell you that magnesium. They don't do magnesium. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know. I think government should try mm. their best if there's a regent or anything they can do to help labs mm. with the magnesium. Magnesium helps a lot. If there's hypomagnesemia, mm. that is low level of magnesium, it also causes that in complement uh, complementary to also calcium mm. okay. yeah, and hypocalcemia. And then uh, another thing again is this kidney disease. Mm. Uh, kidney disease also okay. causes low level of calcium. That's why in their drug. You see, they do put calcium drugs like three, like three. I and think calcitriol, calcium carbonate. Uh, and our there's... people are, are saying that uh, this uh, calcium is uh, known to only women. It's not known to only women, including the men. Mm. Yeah, including well, the men. Much eh? more. Uh, yeah, because in pregnancy they do present with also there is hypocalcemia in pregnancy. I have heard a lot of people saying yeah. it is algenu. Uh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, they will tell you. Yeah, it's algenu. I've seen a lot of cases. I've seen a lot of cases here. You oh. see a pregnant lady coming down. And another thing again mm. is uh, so interesting here is um, there are some vague, vague symptoms that a patient will present with these days in our accident emergency. Mm. And then I was asking, this might be hypocalcemia. Mm. Though they don't, they don't present with that, uh, uh, what do we call it? And that physical yes, physical symptoms, like symptoms typical yeah, symptoms, yes, yeah, symptoms. Or when you do your two signs that mm -hmm. I've mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. you do your chivalric sign, transverse sign, they are all negative. Mm -hmm. But the patient will be telling you that they just feel like they are they just feel like dragging sensation in their hand. Mm -hmm. In the hand, their hand is dry or is drying up. Mm -hmm. They will just tell you, Anunana Bushiwa, mm -hmm. Kapa Anana Bushiwa. There will, there's no any spasm, no spasm no spasm at all and you do your signs nothing 
But at the end of the day, you give them calcium mm. and then the symptoms goes away. Mm. Or sometimes some of them too present with uh, an upper abdominal pain, mm. this epigastric pain. Yeah. They'll be shouting epigastric pain, epigastric pain. Uh, okay, you think of, okay, this one is dyspepsia now, acute PUD, peptic ulcer disease. Mm. You give your omeprazole, nothing. Patient is still shouting, pain, pain. But you give um, mag um, calcium, the patient gets better. So I was like, a lot of things, a lot of research here. Though I've read, um, recently I was able to lay my hands on some materials regarding research on um, hypocalcemia, in do is in pregnant women and in children i was like should i pick interest in doing it yesterday while i was doing my uh, career talks with kids yeah in one school that we went uh, there was a young boy in the one saying that he wants to be a researcher and i i really enjoy the fact that somebody wants to yeah be somebody is beating his chest yes, that he wants to be a researcher. researcher i i was even wondering how does he know that research is a career on its own so I think we need people who will uh, go into research and see all these things. Um, then you have a, uh, a lot of challenge. I want, uh, I, I, I hope I will see a lot of your research being uh, published. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I think I'm switching. Yeah. I'm switching to uh, preventive <laughs> medicine, which uh, do a lot with uh, uh, research. Uh, research. Mm, yes. Yeah, it is good. Mm, yeah. It is do. Good. <laughs> The yeah for knowledge exactly knowledge exactly do i want to practice i want to be um i, I want to be interacting with patients mm. i like interacting with no, patients I, can't you do both you can do both you can be doing research and also be interacting so, uh, i think you interact your patient uh, doctor interaction, interaction will expose you to to a lot of things yes, to and, research on yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, 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 no i'm picking interest to go into community medicine mm. Mm, i know my august if my august see me now talking about this mm. they'll be like this guy is betraying us yeah. <laughs> don't you want to do surgery again mm. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, so thank you thank very you much very for much. joining me today. Uh, it is a wonderful discussion you and I have, and uh, I hope uh, the people listening to this will uh, find one or two things to benefit from. And uh, I hope uh, all these things will stay away from them. Uh, thank you very much once again uh, to our listeners. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Viewers, thank you very much. You're welcome.